welcome to part two of our Stripey V Poncho tutorial. Just a note on sizing, if you want to make a size small, uh, I would start with about 160 chains and then I'd go up, say medium would be about 180, large would be 200, extra large 220. So I would do increments of about 20 chain stitches in the beginning to get your different sizes. We have finished our big rectangle and we're ready to join it into actually making it into a poncho. So I did start with this nice intention of just this off-white here, uh, but it started to look like scrambled eggs, like, uh, you know, anyway, I couldn't manage it. So I decided, instead of starting again, I was going to make it an ombre. So I went in as much neutrals as I had from light down into the tans and then the burgundies and a chocolate brown at the bottom. So we'll see how that goes together. Now how we're going to do this, there's no right side and wrong side so that's one less thing to think about. So get your edge, one of your edges here. So straight here and here right? I'm just going to move this up so that it's on my work surface and flattened out. And then this other side, uh, we're going to line up on this corner here. So I have gave it a bit of a twist or a turn. And this is going to line up here. So this top corner is getting the opposite bottom corner. And that's just going to sit together for now. What you can do is get a stitch marker and just pin this, these two bottom corners together. And I know it's hard to see on the camera, so I will get, uh, I'll show you on a piece of fabric that will fit in the screen. But pin these two corners together, your top corner and your bottom opposite bottom corner. And then we're going to line it up along this side and we're going to join this. I'm going to stitch this together here all along. And then where it's not joined, this here is going to be your neck portion. So this is going to be around your neck and the opposite side down here is going to be uh, down your back. So this is going to be the longest portion down your back and this is going to be the skinniest portion around your neck. So we're doing it that, but let me, oops, drop my scissors. Let me see if I can show you this fabric because it should fit better on my screen and it's a similar shape. So here's your side and you're going to take from the top corner, you're going to take the opposite bottom corner and line it up like that. So we've pinned here. I haven't pinned here yet, but this is how we're basically going to be doing it. Do you see how that corner, I mean this is a bit big, but so top corner is going to meet this bottom corner or bottom corner is going to meet the top corner and then we're joining along this side like that. Alright, so that is what we're doing now. Thank you fabric. So we're ready to join. I have my top corner at the bottom and I flipped up this piece here. The bottom, this is the top corner and I've got the bottom opposite corner on top of it and we're going to be joining along this edge. So how we're going to be doing it, I'm going to take my, my white color, my vertical bar color, my main color, and I'm going to do join as you go with a single crochet. So, I'll be joining it like this all the way along. 
So I hope you can see that. Uh, if you haven't done uh, Join As You Go, I have a couple of videos on it, um, which you're welcome to take a look at. I'm going to assume you kind of know what I'm talking about, although I will explain it. You're also welcome to just stitch it with a needle and thread if you'd rather do that. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to join my yarn into this chain three space by putting my hook in and a loop on my hook, bringing it back and doing a chain one to secure. Now let me move this over and zoom in a bit. Now I'm going to slip stitch into this chain three here. So I've done my chain one, I've dropped my tail, put your hook down into the top of that chain three, grab your yarn and bring it back and slip stitch to join. Now each of these vertical bars, these white ones on my on my piece are double crochets. So those are three stitches. They should be three stitches. And this single crochet is one stitch. So the double crochet and the stripe, so the vertical bar and the horizontal stripe, is equal to four stitches. So keep that in mind as we're joining. So that counts as one. Back into my vertical bar single crochet into the space of the top piece, slip stitch to join, uh, into my stripe I'm going to put two, so I'm just going to go anywhere in there or even over there, single crochet and now I've gone into my space I'm going to go into my stitch. So I'm pushing my hook down grabbing my yarn and bringing it back and slip stitching to join. So that's one. One more into this stripe. Single crochet into the space of the top piece, slip stitch to join. Into the bar, single crochet into the stitch, slip stitch to join into the bar, single crochet, into the space, because I've already got into that stitch, into the space, slip stitch to join. Let me zoom in a bit more for you. Over, try that. Okay. So now I've gotten two into this bar, so I need to get two into this stripe or into this bar. You just put it there, single crochet, and into the stitch, slip stitch to join. Into the stripe, single crochet, into the space, slip stitch to join. Into the bar, single crochet, into the stitch, slip stitch to join. So that's one into the bar. I need to get at least one more because it's a double crochet which is equivalent to three stitches. Ugh. Single crochet. Slip stitch to the chain space to join. And you can see how we're going along. We're getting this nice edge here. It looks similar and it's nice and thick. So that's two into my bar. I need to get two close to my stripe, so into the stitch into my stripe for a single crochet 
into the space for a slip stitch. So this top piece, we're going into the stitch and into the space, into the stitch, into the space, into the stitch, into the space for our slip stitches. And our bottom piece, for our bottom piece, we're doing three stitches for the double crochets and one stitch for the single, so four stitches down there. And you can space it out however you like, whatever works for you. And just work your way along all the way to the top. So pause the video and I'll meet you when you get to the top. So we've reached the end. I'm just going to single crochet into that last stitch and slip stitch to join and chain one just to secure my work. And now turn it. This is the neck. I'm going to go around the neck making uh, I think half doubles around the top here just so it looks finished. So I am going to chain well, I chained one, so I'll chain one more, so a total of chain two. Wrap your yarn and make, going into this first stitch, this first bumpy middle chunky area, make a half double crochet. And into this next area, half double crochet. Into this stitch, half double crochet. And now I'm going to go and do a half double crochet into the stitch into the space, sorry, and a half double crochet into the stitch. So one into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space, one into the stitch. And that just gives us a nice finished edge at the top of our work. Now every fifth stitch I'm going to put a decrease. So a decrease, you're going to you start your um, half double crochet like usual, but instead of taking anything off your hook, you wrap your yarn and start your second half double crochet and then take off all six loops at once. And then continue, do five double crochet, half double crochets, two, three, four, five, and then start your sixth, start your seventh, and take, so you have five loops on your hook, wrap your yarn and take off all five loops. So that will just help um, the poncho stay going in on a bit of a triangle, because you don't really want like a neck, you know. So five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then start your sixth, start your seventh, wrap your yarn, take off all five loops at once, and make five more half double crochets. So one into the space, one into the stitch, one into the space, one into the stitch, and that's how many? Four, so one more into the space, that's five. So now we start number six, leave it on the hook, start number seven, leave it on the hook, five loops on your hook, wrap your yarn, take off all five loops. So that is a half double crochet decrease, which we're doing every fifth stitch. So keep going around like that. I'll just pull up my loop. Actually, I'll do one more half double. And then pull up my loop so you can see why we're doing that. There, this is the top, but you see how the 
poncho is on an angle, so we're keeping this row on a decrease, so it, the, the angle keeps going up like that, okay? So five, you can do whatever decrease you feel like, but we're doing five half double crochets and then a decrease. So keep going all the way around, and I will meet you when we get back here. Okay, we've got to our where we joined. I'm going to sl slip stitch to the top of this first half double crochet to join and chain one to secure. Now cut your yarn and I'll go see what my kids need. So we finished our neck, our little trim. Now we're going to do the trim, same thing, on the bottom. So with the outside facing, so the same side where we did our trim, so we have the raised side here, I am finding the tail the very tip of the V. I'm going to do this part last just because it's like more difficult that I don't want to start there. So I'm going to start here and go this way and we'll finish on this side. So into this top of the chain three, put your hook in, put a loop of your yarn on your hook and pull it back through. Wrap both strands around your hook and slip stitch to join. Drop your tail and chain one. So that counts, that's like two chains, so that counts as a half double, technically. I'm going to go over my tail just here. It's not going to get a lot of wear and tear, so I'm not super worried about it. And into this space I'm going to do a half double, and wrapping the yarn into the stitch I'm going to do a half double. So alternating between going in the space, and going into the stitch, you make your way all along the side making half doubles. So when you get to this join, start the video again. So pause the video, keep going all the way around, and I will meet you when things switch up. We are getting back around to this seam where we did our joining. So you kind of pick your stitches. So this here is a stitch, half double in that one's a stitch, half double, other side of the braid, half double, and again into the um, double crochet, half double, into the stripe, half double. So now we're going to go along this side doing the same amount of stitches as we did for our joining, which is three for a double crochet, which is our vertical bars, and one for the stripe, which is a single crochet. So depending how you can, how it's easier for you to work it out, I'm putting basically three stitches into the double crochet and one into the stripe, give or take. I just don't want two in the exact same spot but the one double crochet and the one stripe needs four stitches. So get them in however is the most convenient for you. I'm going to start my first one right at the edge there. Get my hook back, there you go. Double crochet, so that's one. Next loop I can see two. Next loop I can make three. That was lucky into the stripe, one, so the next one here, push it in as close as I can to the stripe, one, push it over the next space, two, next one, three, into the stripe, one. So that gives you the right amount of stitches for when this, like if you blocked your sh your poncho, th that would be the right. It would it would be a nice even space. I'm I don't really um. What do you say? 
I'm not a big blocker. I'm not a big fan of blocking. Uh, unless it's squares and I can leave them while I do another project. But anyway, so into this one, we're going to do three. So tr get, I'm going to start straight off just as close as I can to that stripe. One in the middle I want to go somewhere. If I can get it back. Two and right before the stripe, three and one into the stripe. Oh, I can go there on the other side. One, two, three into the stripe, one. Anywhere for my two and three right before the stripe. My fourth one into the stripe. And you just repeat this all the way down until you get to here. So pause the video, work your way. This will all even out. Oh, it's all messy, but it'll even out. Pause the video, I'll meet you at the end of this row. So into that same space where we, we joined our yarn with our chain two, we're going to make a double crochet, a chain one, and we're going to slip stitch to join. And chain one to secure. Cut your yarn and pull your hook and your tail up and tighten down to secure. This we can trim off because we went over it, that little white tail from before. Great. So that is our poncho. See how this side here is a bit wonky? I had parenting issues. I had to go run and sort out a child. So I didn't do the proper turn here. So if this was going to bother me, which it might. I mean, I'll try to, I'll wear it for a bit and see if it just goes straight by nature. If it doesn't, uh, I'm going to go around again with one more row of half double crochet and that will totally even it out. Because uh, it'll just make it nice. But let's see, I'm going to see how it goes. If I can avoid it. But if I can't, that's what I'll do, two rounds. So if your edge is wonky, that's another option you can do, is just go around one more time, making one more row of half double crochet, and you'll just end up with a nice thick border on the edge, it'll look really cute. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. There's a lot of other videos on here, we've done a lot already, um, different projects, uh, whatever is of interest to you. If you do have something of interest that you're like, oh, you know, could I learn how to do that? Just leave it in the comments below or find us, uh, send us a WhatsApp or email or whatever. All of my contact details will be in the description box below. And if you end up making any of these, please tag us on your social media. Tag us on Facebook or Instagram, whatever you are using these days. And thanks so much for watching. Stay hooked.